Kidney stones, or renal calculi, are aggregates of crystals enclosed in a matrix that develop within the kidneys. They're classified according to the specific types of crystals they contain and fall into five major categories. Calcium oxalate, calcium phosphate, struvite, uric acid, and cysteine. The most common is calcium oxalate. How is a stone formed? The first step is nucleation. Ions such as calcium and oxalate that have been filtered into the urine by the kidney spontaneously join together to form a solid crystal nidus. This is called nucleation. There are two kinds of nucleation. In homogeneous nucleation, crystals form around a nucleus with the same composition. Crystals of a different composition can also form around the nucleus. Organic materials such as cell debris may be deposited between the crystals as a matrix. This is heterogeneous nucleation. The tiny crystal formations travel down the nephron and are usually deposited at the renal papilla, where they undergo the next major phase, growth. Crystals that have already formed then begin to stick together forming large aggregates. As we can see, crystals can aggregate very quickly. Mu stones are retained in the kidney, where they can continue to grow for an unspecified length of time until, for reasons that are not well understood, they are displaced and travel through the kidney into the ureter. If a stone continues to grow until it reaches a critical size, which can be as small as four to five millimeters in diameter, it may be too large to pass easily through the ureter. The edges of the stone may become wedged inside the ureter at the ureteropelvic junction, where the ureter crosses over the iliac artery, or at the ureterovesical junction. The result, pain and obstruction, until the stone slowly passes into the bladder and eventually passes out of the body in the urine stream.